welcome. Welcome back to day two of the Pennine Way and to a very misty, misly and murky crowding, the three M's. Um, so today's route is going to take me up to Black Hill before I drop down past a chain of reservoirs to Stand Edge, I think the name of the place is, uh, where I leave the trail and then I've got a couple of miles to walk into Delft where my accommodation is tonight. So weather-wise, I think we're in for a mixed day, showery this morning, it might brighten up this afternoon, fingers crossed. Foot-wise, it's a bit stiff again this morning, but a mile in, it seems to have settled down, thankfully. So touch wood, we hope that continues for the day. Right, okay. Looking forward to day two, because beyond Black Hill is all uncharted territory for me. So I'm looking to see what the Pennine Way has to offer beyond there. Right, let's go and do this, shall we? So I had no signal in the B&B yesterday. So as soon as I found a 4G um, signal, I thought I'd best upload yesterday's video. So uh, shouldn't be too long before it goes live. So last night's accommodation was great, the old house in um, Torside. I met up with a few fellow Pennine Way walkers, none of whose names I caught unfortunately, but uh, the owners are brilliant. They, uh, for a very small fee, they give you a lift up to uh, the next village, to a pub and uh, had a fantastic meal there. It was great to catch up with um, others who were walking the Pennine Way. Unfortunately, um, I won't meet those guys now for the rest of the trip. The itineraries differ to mine, but uh, if you are watching this, it was great to meet you all. So Lado Rocks, which in my opinion is one of the uh, best views in the Peak District when you get to the top there, um, is in mist at the moment. So I'm hoping that the Penang Way God of Views um, grants me access to those views when I get to the top. Um, I'm not holding out much hope though, unfortunately. <laughs> so, I've made it onto Lado Rocks and the mist has cleared. So we've got one of my all-time favourite views of the Peak District. So, thank you, the Pen Way God of Views. He's decided to send the mist over to Bleaklow, so obviously bad luck for anyone who's on Bleaklow at the moment, but uh, yeah, my view of crowd in Great Brook down there is stunning. Right, it's time to take the shoes and socks off for a minute. My feet are sweaty. It's been a tough climb up there, so a bit of food and uh, recover the feet for a few minutes. So we've got a view of Black Hill now, the home moss transmitter over there. And this little rocky outcrop is called Castles, probably given the name because it looks absolutely nothing like one. <laughs> So I've made it here to Black Hill. Um, it's been quite a tough trek up here. I've not walked this route for a, a year or two and I forgot just how rocky it is um, and boggy on the path up, so it's been slow going. So I think I've earned myself a uh, lunch stop. Um, the lady at the B&B um, made me a ham salad sandwich and I'm not hungry because she also made a massive full English, which I ate this morning, but the sun's out. So I think I've earned a rest and a chance to rest up the feet. So I'll take a bit of food in as well, and then we'll uh, uh, head on down there. So that was a nice lunch stop at Black Hill there. I had a good 20, 25 minutes. So I only decided to get up because I could see some black clouds rolling in. <laughs> anyway, back to the Pennine Way. So. Black Hill is the furthest point I've reached previously on the Pennine Way. So everything from 
um, now on to the end is a brand new adventure to me so as much as I loved um, Kinder, Bleaklow and Crowden with it being my local area I've walked um, those parts many times before so for me my true Pennine Way adventure starts from now um, it also means that I'm going to have to start navigating from now um, I've not had to use the map once because I know as I mentioned I know those other areas so well but uh, that's all going to have to change It also means I'm going to be treated to some views that I've never seen before and this one's magnificent I'm so glad the weather's clear today I think it's somewhere over that way that I'm going by the look of it towards that reservoir could be wrong though <laughs> I'm not sure if you can see down there, but there's like an army of sheep <laughs> following that track all the way up. Pennine Way bouncers. So the heather's starting to turn back from purple. Shame really, I bet a month ago it would have absolutely been gorgeous walking through here. Sea of colour. Still hanging on to a little bit. I'm just passing Wessenden Head Reservoir there. Um, I've been the phone's been coming in, out, in and out of signal all day today, but um, I did check. I posted day one video a few hours ago, and um, I've had quite a few notifications of from people who've left some kind, encouraging comments. Um, so you know, I really do appreciate that. Um, I'm probably not going to have much of an opportunity to respond to many of them um, mainly because of um, I'm in and out of signal all day and I've not always got signal um, at the places I'm staying but uh, please keep the comments coming um, they do really help encourage me and I, would, I do read every single one of them so thank you for those that are watching the video and uh, uh, are leaving comments much appreciated And this one's Wessendon Reservoir. Certainly looking a bit low, despite the thunderstorms yesterday. It's had a much needed rest stop at Wessendon Reservoir. Again, just to get the shoes off for a little while. Um, just take a bit of food on. I've learnt after the Cleveland Way experience that when the feet are starting to tire or the energy reserves feel a little bit depleted um, unless it's absolutely hammering it down that's the time to stop and just have 10 minutes and uh, definitely makes the world a difference I feel uh, uh, refreshed and revitalised again now not sure for how many more miles but uh, <laughs> Got about four to go to get to the end point for today now. That's a tough climb up. I've just like a climb out of the valley down there. Um, very short but sharp. Probably the sharpest climb so far on the Pennine Way. Um, the guy at the B&B mentioned about a path that you can take around the reservoir that avoids this sharp climb but I'm glad I stuck to the prescribed route because uh, little waterfalls and um, river at the bottom absolutely stunning. Right, let's get, best get to the top of this bit now. I know I've said this already but that stop really did do me the world of good. That and the fact that I popped a couple of electrolyte tablets in my water bladder. Now. I've been hyper since I had them, so the box I got them out of said electrolytes on it um, but I did get them off Amazon, so I don't know if I got them from a black market supplier by accident or something but whatever they are, they're working <laughs> I always thought in this part of the, the world we were about 60 miles from any beach looks like I was wrong 
<laughs> so I've reached the point in the trail where the Pennine Way carries on down there. Um, I need to go down the Pennine Bridle Way now into Diggle. Um, I couldn't get any accommodation in Diggle, unfortunately. Uh, the nearest place I could get was Delft, so unless I can find a bus stop or something <laughs> when I get um, into Diggle, I think about another three miles to walk I'll certainly be getting some kind of transport back up to here um, in the morning because um, it's all uphill and I've got a long day anyway tomorrow so uh, um, Today will only be a 16 mile day with the off trail diversion, so uh, not ideal, but it's not horrendous. <laughs> There's a road there, I wonder if I could hitchhike. That's what those through hikers do in uh, America and places like that, I think. Having said that, I can smell myself today, so I want to inflict that on some poor motorists that picked me up. <laughs> Google Maps has taken me up this crap <laughs> track um, I've routed in my B&B for tonight No idea why it's trying to take me up here The only saving grace are the views It must be that reason Okay, so day two of the Pennine Way complete and another fantastic day Really fortunate with the weather again today. I'm sure my luck's going to run out at some point during this trip, but uh, um, good views all throughout. Really enjoyed the day. In total, I think I did about 16 miles, 13 on the trail, and then three back to the accommodation. Tomorrow, I make my way over to Hebden Bridge, which is another 16 or 17 mile day, subject to me being able to get a uh, um, a lift to the point where I left the trail today. Right, okay, it's time to get showered, get the stretchers done, go and get some food, and then an early night beckons, I think. Right, join me for day three. Bye for now. <laughs>